Catcher in the Rye by J.D. Salinger was one of my absolute favorite books in my teenage years, well into my 20s. When I picked it up for the reread of this blog, I wasn't really sure what I was going to talk about. When I finished the first, not sentence, but clause of the book, I knew exactly what I would talk about. On page one. If you really want to hear about it, the first thing you'll probably want to know is where I was born and what my lousy childhood was like and how my parents were occupied and all before they had me and all that David Copperfield kind of crap. But I don't feel like going into it if you want to know the truth. Catcher opens with a disclaimer of sorts telling us about a story that he's not going to tell. And actually when you get to the end of the book, it closes with a similar disclaimer of another story that he won't tell. To be bookended with disclaimers about not telling a story is even more interesting given his narration quality itself. Holden tells us a lot about other characters and he goes about his actions and in his demeanor, his outlook, he actually gives a lot of himself away that he doesn't mean to. I would venture to say that many of us do the same thing, maybe to a lesser extreme than Holden. I received some feedback recently actually that when I'm hearing something that's hard for me to hear, I'm actually Though listening very hard, shutting myself down with my body language, I'm kind of closing myself off. So in actually trying to listen more, it was telling the person that was talking to me that I was actually closing myself off from them, making it seem like I actually wasn't listening. Just like Holden, I didn't realize I was doing this until someone gave me this feedback. Now, when I enter a conversation that I know might be a little bit difficult for me, I know to check myself to open myself back up when I feel myself closing. This is just one example of my own, and Holden gives us plenty. What can we learn from this as leaders? With everything that we're saying, what are we showing? It's an ever-evolving process of self-discovery, and we might need a mirror every now and then to kind of show us back what we're putting out there. Thanks for joining me again for this episode of Leaders in Literature. I hope to see you on the first Friday of April for our next episode. In the meantime, in like a lion, out like a lamb. Happy March. Happy weekend. Happy Friday. <laughs>